Welcome to News Now, live from the Jaffa port on Marov Severe. We begin in the UK, where a Labour member of Parliament, Joe Cox, was shot and stabbed to death this afternoon. Police confirmed they arrested a 52-year-old man in the area in West Yorkshire. He was later named as Tommy Meyer. Police say she was pronounced dead at 13.48 local time. And joining us now is I-24 News London correspondent Jonathan Sashardani. Jonathan, thank you for being with us. Good evening. What more details do we know about this attack? Well, so far, the motive has not been commented on by the police. There have been those rumours that the attacker shouted Britain first, either as he attacked her and possibly or possibly uh, as he was arrested by police. Now, Britain First is a group formed in 2011 and led by the former British National Party councillor Paul Golding. It's a far-right group which claims to protect traditional British culture and is against immigration. And Ms Cox was a Labour politician who had been voting to remain in the EU ahead of the referendum. So that's raised some suspicion that he may have been affiliated to that party or he may have been motivated by opposition to her political views. But the police have been very specific not to comment on this yet. Now, even though the police are not commenting about this, a lot of people have connected this attack to the Brexit referendum. Now, over the last couple of weeks, both campaigns have been quite dirty, but no one would have believed it could result in something like this. Indeed. Uh, this sort of attack is extremely rare. And while uh, British politicians are quite well protected in the House of Commons, in the Houses of Parliament, by the police and other security services. They are quite vulnerable in their local constituencies, uh, which they represent with, uh, in Westminster. So they have these regular surgeries, as they're called, where they meet members of the public who have concerns they wish to bring to the MP. And this is the setting in which she was killed. So there will be some discussion now about security in that particular arena. But this is part of British democracy, and so it's fundamental part of making sure politicians represent those people who voted for them in a specific area. Uh, so now this may be connected to the referendum. It may not be, uh, but it's certainly clear that the issue of security for members of parliament will also be something that will receive some discussion in the coming days and weeks. Now, Jonathan, quickly with the referendum, just a week away, how do you think this will impact the vote? It's hard to know how this will impact the vote because we've seen those polls nudging the Leave side ahead slightly. Whether this will have some sort of backlash against it while the campaigning is suspended, one cannot know. And presumably the campaigning will start again relatively soon, perhaps after 24 hours, because the vote itself is, of course, in one week's time. Jonathan Sashadani joining us from London. Thank you very much.